Good afternoon, colleagues, students, and friends. I'm Dr. Ho Okechukwu from Abia State University, Nigeria. And I'm, today I will be looking at the female breast. The female breast is a modified apocrine sweat gland. It lies in the subcutaneous layer beneath the skin of the chest and is the site of milk production or lactation. It is invested or encapsulated in superficial fascia and it lies on pectoralis major, seratus anterior, and external oblique muscle. The breast is a rounded elevation and extends from rib 2 to rib 6 on the vertical plane um, and uh, from the vertical plane in the mid axillary line and on the lateral side it extends from the sternum down to the mid uh, from the or down to the mid axillary line the breast bears a conical projection called the nipple which corresponds with the fourth intercostal space and has a reddish brown region that surrounds each nipple called the areola the presence of large sebaceous glands in the underlying dermis give the areola surface a granular texture. The apocrine granular tissue of the breast consists of a number of separate lobes, each containing several secretory lobes. Ducts leaving the lobes converge, which gives rise to a single lactiferous duct in each lobe. Near the nipple, that lactiferous duct extends, expands, forming an extended chamber called the lactiferous sinus. There are 15 to 20 lactiferous sinuses that are typically open on the surface of each nipple. The breast is supported by a suspensory ligament of Ashley Cooper from deep fascia to the depth. Then we look at the lymphatics of the breast. For the lymphatics of the breast, lymph vessels run deep to the capsule in the submammary space and uh, from there the lymph drains to the axilla and in axilla, there are different groups of uh, lymph nodes. You have the apical group of lymph nodes, anterior group of lymph nodes, you have the central group of lymph nodes. In addition to that, you also have infraclavicular group of lymph nodes. You now have the internal thoracic uh, group of lymph nodes, which drains to the parasternal area on the side of the sternum. Then, in disease conditions, you have that the lymph will spread to other areas, like the, if there is a disease state in one part of the breast, it will extend to the other side of the breast. Then you also have conditions that the lymph will uh, spread to the deep cervical lymph nodes. It will also, can also spread to the peritoneum, which is in the abdominal region. It can also spread to the inguinal group of lymph nodes. Then we look at the blood supply to the breast. The blood supply to the breast is principally two. You have the internal thoracic uh, artery, which is coming from the first part of subclavian. You also have the one coming from the lateral thoracic, which is actually coming from the second part of axillary. And from the picture, you also see that you have the one also coming from the thoracoacromial, which is the second part of axillary artery. Then you look at the final branch, which is actually coming from the internal thoracic, and that branch is called the intercostal uh, artery. Then we look at some developmental anomalies of the breast. Uh, you have what is called amastia, which is absence of breast. We have what is called atelia, which is presence of nipple. And you have a case called the polymastia, which is a uh, supranumerary breast. And you also have what is called polytelia, which is called uh, supranumerary nipples. And these issues, like the, supra, uh, the polymastia and the polytelia, is typically seen in dogs, but it's rarely found in uh, humans. And you have what is called poly, uh, uh, gynecomastia. Gynecomastia is the issue of development of breast in males, and it occurs in what is called the Klinefletas uh, syndrome. Then, in addition to that, in, all, in, our, uh, in this diagram, you will see uh, that uh, a large breast is not as a result of uh, 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 large breast is not as a result of pregnancy, but uh, is actually as a result of um, is actually as a result of uh, adipose tissues in non-pregnant females. So when you find that people have large breasts, it's not because of that, it's because of uh, the presence of adipose tissue. But uh, when the person gets pregnant, the, uh, the uh, glandular tissues uh, actually enlarge. So if you have questions and comments, please, uh, you have to email me on both links, latin at uh, gmail.com, or you can send me a message on my phone, uh, which is, uh, okay. uh, you can
and send me a message as I'm going.